This may be one of the last times I speak with you as una signorina, just Kylie. Guido is away at the farm driving tractors and mowing fields to prepare the farm for the wedding, while I am still here where we live just outside of Florence, and it's a quiet moment myself of reverie, nostalgia for the adventures my heart has taken, and contemplation of the next chapter. What does it mean these days to be married? What will it change in me? Cosa significa fare questa sacra promessa? What does it mean to make this sacred promise? Finché morte non ci separi, till death to us part. Some lovers say nothing changes. Others say one fights harder to honor the promise of forever. I was surprised to learn that in Italy, this ancient traditional country, the woman doesn't necessarily take the man's name, she keeps her own. Naturally, the hope of most respectful partnerships is that one can retain a degree of independence while still committing every day to being a part of a team. Yet I can't deny this faint trepidation as I consider that very soon I will enter into a pact and become someone's wife. This is an honor, a challenge, a gift, yet also a tremendous responsibility to make the right choice in a world where most of us seem to keep changing our mind over and over. I think it's especially uh, significant for a free spirit like mine, an analytical mind like mine, for anyone who knows that love, this elemental, abstract state, more debated, desired and deconstructed than almost any other subject in literature, film, religion, politics, this love, this rapport, however one defines it, is destined to change. The first month I lived in Italy in a little apartment in Florence, a wonderful friend, poet and pen pal gifted me this leather-bound journal with thick, creamy pages. As an earnest journal writer, I scribbled my daily thoughts in other books and saved this one over 20 years to record only the grand feelings. Great sorrow, great loves, dreams so exquisite my pen ran wild with exclamation marks, and always the ellipsis, those little dots signifying motion, hope, something magical around the corner. A promise to myself that alone I would work hard to make all these dreams come true. I filled it with Venetian proverbs, wishes, goals, psychological patterns in my behavior, the dialogue you have with yourself, both when you feel your courage fading and when you're so exhilarated by a moment that you need to see it articulated on a page simply to believe it happened. Now I sit in this field, looking at the picture my mother took when I was on holiday in Rome, and I first told her, one day I will live in Italy and this will become my home. Some people, understandably, say that once you're already monogamous and living together, to be married is a trivial bit of paper. I guess they're right in many ways, but... For me, I like the idea of marriage possessing a certain gravity, a sacred formality before creating a family that begs the question, is this a promise you are making with a conscious and committed heart to love or strive to find one's way back to love, come what may? Qualunque cosa succeda.
Thank you for watching and a big thank you to those who support my work, who support this channel on Patreon. I often read your messages late, late at night, about 4 a.m. And so I may not necessarily uh, reply, but I just try to get through reading as many as possible. And then I have in my head uh, this promise that after after the wedding, I will sit down and devote uh, a whole week to replying to you all. But uh, in the meantime, thank you very much for your patience.